everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install texture packs slash resource packs in Minecraft 1.17 dot one resource packs and texture packs are the same thing by the way so whether whatever you search to get to this video it's going to show you either way texture packs resource packs exact same thing in minecraft java edition first and most though we do have some sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown today xyz slash apex so your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we actually don't trust apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own minecraft server look no further than apex minecraft hosting check them out the first link down below that's the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your server up and running now Let's, let's go ahead and getting texture packs installed in Minecraft 1.17.1. The first thing you need to do is obviously download them. So if you go to the second link down below, it's going to take you here. This is a list of 15, yes, you heard that right, 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.17 and 1.17.1. Any Minecraft 1.17 resource packs are going to work automatically in 1.17.1, by the way. So those work without issue interchangeably. 1.17.1 packs, 1.17 packs, they're going to work together without problems. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and download John Smith Legacy. So I'm just going to right click on all these green download buttons and open them in new tabs. We'll also go ahead and do Safex Original or Safex Original. And then we will do Spax Pure Media Craft. Sure, why not? And then we'll do two more even. We'll do Modern Arc R. This one's going to be 1.16, by the way. I'm going to show you how that works as well. And then we're going to go ahead and grab LP Photo Realism because why not? So, nevertheless, we on some of these will be taken to in depth specific tutorials for the resource packs. If that's the case, just go ahead and click on the download button on those pages. Then it will take you to the download page for whatever respective pack you are looking to download. It is taking a second to load here, so I'm going to go to quick jump cut until it is loaded. There we go. John Smith is now loaded. We can scroll down and we have Minecraft Java 1.17 right here. Under that, we want to go ahead and click on the download button under it. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and start downloading John Smith Legacy. John Smith's uh, site has been a little slow today for me, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to Sapix Craft while that's downloading. On Sapix Craft, you just scroll down here, and then we have the 1.17 version already selected then you want to select whichever one of these john smith's downloading finally in the bottom left you want to go ahead and select which one of these you want this 512 is going to take a much better computer than 16x i'm going to go ahead and settle kind of at 64x when you click on that's going to take us off to add focus or stop if you get on that focus or add fly page or anything like that don't click anything stop what you want to do is wait 10 seconds and then click the skip button in the top right. Don't click any buttons on this page other than the red skip button in the top right. When you click on the red skip button, it's going to go off and finally it will go ahead and download Sapix Craft. It should download automatically, but it doesn't seem like mine is, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the orange download link there and Sapix Craft downloads in the bottom left. Now moving on from there, we have Spax. Go ahead and click on the download button on our website for Spax. Scroll down, and as you can see, Spax is not yet updated to 1.17, although it should be coming soon. Which whenever you want, 64, you know, you can actually see the difference here. So you can see that 512 has a lot more detail than 16x. See how much blurrier that is? And that's what you're gaining when you gain more pixels there. We're going to settle kind of right in the middle at 128, and we're going to download with an ad on PureBD Craft. This means basically kind of sitting through a, you know, video ad that is going to load here in one second. There we go. Wait 15 seconds and then the download will be able to work. From there, this is a modern arc R. And for here, we're going to click on see more. Scroll down, click on the download button here. And then you want to select which one you want. We're going to go 128. And then the download is going to be again in the bottom left. And then last but not least, many resource packs you find will actually be hosted on this, CurseForge. So on CurseForge's site, over here on the right-hand side, if you scroll down, you will find the recent files. And then that's going to be Minecraft 1.17. Click on the download button under that to get the download started. It should automatically download after a few seconds here. Now there's one more we need to delve back to, which is going to be SPAX. You can see our download is ready. Go ahead and click download there and we are good to go. So that was a lot and it was a lot of downloading, four minutes or so, three minutes or so of downloading. I apologize for that, but I wanted to give you a bunch of different download scenarios. Every resource packs downloads like setup is different, right? And I wanted to kind of show you what to look for. I wanted to go through an ad flow, focus slash fly page there, show you that you just click skip button on any ad pages you have, all of that stuff. So as you can see, PureBD Graph finally finishing in the bottom left. And if we go ahead and minimize our browser, we have a ton of resource packs. We have John Smith Legacy, we have Sacred Craft, we have Modern Arc R, we have LB Photorealism, and then we do have PureBD Craft as well. So 
Awesome stuff there. Now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher here, and then we want to open up Minecraft 1.17.1, right like so. I'm going to go ahead, let this open, I'll do a quick jump cut and meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are, Minecraft 1.17.1 on the main menu. Go ahead and click on options here, and then click on resource packs. Again, for the main menu, click on options, and then resource packs. Once you're in the resource packs folder here, you may have some available over here. Some of them may be red even. That's okay. What we want to do is go ahead and click on the open pack folder in the bottom left. We do that, it's gonna open up our resource packs folder. And now we just wanna go ahead and take all the resource packs we downloaded from our desktop and drag and drop them into resource packs. Now, if these resource packs aren't on your desktop, they're in your downloads folder. And to find that, you wanna click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder. And then in here, you will find all these resource packs, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we wanna go ahead and again, back in Minecraft from the main menu, click on options, resource packs, and then click on open pack folder in the bottom left. Then we wanna take all of our resource packs and drag and drop them into the resource packs folder. Then they immediately appear back here. Now, some of these, as you might see, are red. That means they're not natively compatible with 1.17, but that's okay. So first of all, what happens when one is? Well, John Smith Legacy is compatible with 1.17. Let's go ahead and click on that little, that little basically arrow that points to the right. You want to click on that and move it over into selected, then click done. Now Minecraft's going to reload and it's going to set up John Smith Legacy. It's going to work. Let's actually go ahead and take this one and jump in a game really fast just to show you that this is working fully, completely, 100% without any issue. So actually just go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're in game. So here we are in game. We are in the nether, as you can see, and John Smith Legacy is fully compatible. So let's go ahead and go back to the overworld here and we'll do time time set day. There we go. So now we are in the overworld. Everything is looking good. One of the things that I do want to mention though is if we go into creative, you will be able to see all of the different block patterns, including deep slate and things like that, are actually uh, you know done. Some of these other resource packs won't have that, but they'll still work. So let's go ahead, hit escape, click on options, go to resource packs, and then let's go ahead and click this arrow to deselect. So if we click on that, it's gonna move it from selected back over to available, and then let's do modern arc R. So we go ahead and click on that. It's gonna give you this warning that it was made for an older version. It may not work. 1.16.5 packs should work in 1.17. You're just not gonna have all the textures. So we go ahead and click yes. It's gonna go ahead and install that. Boom, reload Minecraft, get Modern Arcar up and running. This is one of my favorite packs. I mean, it completely changes the look of Minecraft, but it's so cool. Look at that. So anyway, we have all this. One thing you will notice though, this block, Deep Slate Gold, for example, it's just the normal default Minecraft texture though, right? Modern Arc hasn't changed that. And that's really proven when you do look at normal gold ore which is going to have a little bit more of a different texture. Actually, no, this doesn't seem like it's touched that one either. So as you can see there, that is not touched by Modern Arc, whereas, for example, I believe this gravel, yes, has been touched by them. So you can see the difference there. When you use an older pack, that's kind of all you have to worry about. Some of these blocks may end up being like pink and black pixels. That just means the texture's not registering. It is what it is, and that's one of those things that you unfortunately have to deal with if you're using an outdated pack. Let's go ahead and switch packs one more time. I'm not gonna go through all of these. As you can see, they are all here. They're all working all that stuff. We'll go ahead and use another uncompatible one, and that's Pure BD Craft. Now, one thing that is worth noting, you can actually change this. So when we go into Pure BD Craft, I'll use this as an example. So if we come in here, we have this, we'll go ahead and also place gold ore, which does actually work in Pure BD Craft. So let's go ahead and grab some of these new ores. Deep slated cobble, copper, obviously not going to be involved at all because it wasn't even in older versions of Minecraft. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and do deep slate copper and then we'll put copper ore on top of that, right? So that's all not affected by Pure BD Craft. That's the default texture. However, if we go into options, resource packs, and then move over John Smith, for example, and move that below Pure BD Craft. So now Pure BD Craft is on top. And then we use this little arrow here to move John Smith Legacy below Pure BD Craft. That means it's gonna look at Pure BD Craft textures first. And then if it's not in Pure BD Craft, it's going to load it from John Smith. So if we click done here, it's gonna reload. And you'll notice that the textures of deep slate cobble and all that stuff are gonna change to what they are in John Smith. So there we go. As you can see, those are now all John Smith. Whereas the rest of the world, this is Pure BD Craft. See how that works? So really, really cool way to stack. For example, this is actually is a pretty good stack in my opinion, the more cartoony over the, you know, more different cobble slate and stuff like that from John Smith. So awesome stuff there. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but that is how you can download and install resource packs in Minecraft 1.17.1. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thanks for the support. It really does mean a ton. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.